Hello, Internet. Ben here with another... Sorry, had to grab my controllers. With another little demonstration of this line of sight stuff. So, for demonstration purposes, I've plugged in three controllers. Um, every controller that you plug in, it will um, just make a new wizard uh, right now. The wizard's not procedurally generated, although having said, how come I never thought to do that? I might have to do that. Um, but I just drew four of them of, you know, four different colors. And that would be a problem with, with uh, procedurally generated wizards anyway, is that we, we want them to look distinct. I, I really tried to make them look different. So anyway, what I have now, so a couple things. We've got like this minimum kind of light radius, which I think will be useful because I'd love to find, you know, something this uh, field of view or line of sight algorithm doesn't have is a maximum uh, radius for your line of sight. So you can kind of just see everywhere, which is a little crazy. Um, you know, as long as you've got line of sight, it would be great to have a maximum. Um, and then that maximum could be enforced by things like, this is a dark room, therefore your maximum vision, you know, is reduced. But then I want to always have this overriding minimum vision that you have, um, which is this little circle you see. And part of the reason, too, is even if I don't find a, a you know, a convenient way immediately to uh, limit the normal field of view, um, it would be really cool to let you level up this minimum radius to let you see through walls. And I, you know, I just call it like wizard sight or something. It doesn't matter. You know, just come up with a, a magic word. Um, the camera is the average of the players' positions. Um, I don't like. Did you notice that? How when it wiggles, that guy, the blue one, is kind of wiggling left and right by a pixel. It's because there's floats all over the place. Oh, look, my little snake! I didn't know, based on how it was randomly generated, that he would come in here because he's always positioned in the same coordinates of the map. So I must be in the upper left. Um, so, gosh, if controlling three wizards was hard, or two in the last video, controlling three is certainly more so. I'm happy to see, I had not tried three wizards until I made this video. I'm happy to see that it's not, it doesn't seem laggy. Um, how many right sticks can I press at once? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it seems to work pretty great. Let's see if I can even move. Ugh, that's really, <laughs> gotta use maximum fingers there. Um, Anyway, so yeah, so you know, we have the super rudimentary uh, dungeon generation as you can see. Oh, that guy's getting left. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> super rudimentary uh, dungeon generation, which uh, basically just splits the map up into a number of squares and then decides which of them should be connected and then, you know, whatever. Uh, it does it in such a way that it's random but not stupid like it it's smart about the random it keeps track of which rooms it has connected to how many and just kind of builds this increasingly long chain so right now it's saying um build a chain of six connected rooms and it will randomly choose dimensions for the larger area so you could end up with a straight line or, or a very wiggly one depending on how tight the the map is um, and then afterwards, I would, of course, want to add side rooms where you get little bonuses. Also, the rooms shouldn't all be squares. But I think I will keep within this kind of grid. Like, this is the maximum size for a room, which is probably too small. I can increase that easily. But it worked for Rogue. If you ever played the original Rogue game, which was, what, the 70s or 80s? I don't even know. Uh, I was probably not born when it came out, right? I'm not that old. <laughs> um, but, but almost. But almost. 82. Um, so, anyway... Um, yeah, it worked good enough for that road game. I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't notice that that's how it was generating the rooms until it was pointed out. And I was like, oh yeah, that's really true. So, uh, you know, I figure I can get away with it here. Um, generate some rooms within these larger areas, connect them up with little tunnels, um, put interesting obstacles, and I think that'll be good enough. I love, I just love playing with the line of sight, right? Like, that's so cool. It looks kind of weird like this, because you're like, what could make that line of sight? But, you know, it's three, it's three wizards with wizard vision, let's call it. Anyway, so I think the next thing to do now that I have a dungeon is add stairs going down, and then you go in the stairs down and you're on a new floor that's even longer, you know, just keep adding a room's length and see how far it can generate before I run out of memory or something. Um, and then start adding monsters so that we can shoot them in a cooperative fashion with our wizard spells. I don't I don't know what this is. And I, I definitely have all kinds of upgrades in mind, right? I mean, that's what these sorts of games are about. You want to be able to go faster, to shoot faster, to have different spells. I mean, part of the reason I'm doing it on a gamepad, um, it's going to be twin stick, but we have the bumpers, which I'm pressing here, and the triggers, and I think it would be cool to tie a spell to each. I thought about tying a spell to each of A, B, X, Y, but if you're shooting at the same time, it's going to be really hard. So I'd like you to just be able to pull a trigger or press a button, um, 
so that you can cast weird wizard spells while you're moving. Because they might be directional, right? Maybe it's to shoot a crazy super blast, or... Also, you should just shoot all the time. Why would you not... You know, why would it not shoot all the... Well, but you do, by holding the stick. Anyway, I don't know. The point is, I would like four spells and, and to let you customize those based on equipment you pick up, or level ups, or I don't know what. Um, maybe combination, right? That would be more appropriate, probably, for maximum mechanic mechanical space, right? So anyway, quite enough rambling. Um, I'm about to hang out. It's Valentine's, so gotta make dinner and stuff. Um, but thank you for watching, and I will of course post more as I have more to post.